Have you recently been arrested for boating under the influence here in San Diego County? If you've recently been arrested or you have a family member going through the process, or if you're just interested in learning more about boating under the influence, stick around. I think you're gonna like this video. My name is Dodd. I've been a criminal defense attorney here in San Diego County since 2004. My firm is Dodd Law. Today we're going to talk about boating under the influence under Harbor and Navigations Code 655. Now when we're talking about boating under the influence, we're talking about a boat, a watercraft, a jet ski, or a vessel. Now the very common thing that we get here in San Diego is you're out with your friends, you're on a boat, and everybody is drinking and there really isn't a true driver of the boat. Now, let's be clear on a DUI case, it's driving under the influence. You have to be actually driving the vehicle. However, with a boat, it's a lot different because typically what people do is they take the boat out to the middle of the water, they park it there and they get out and they drink. Then they drive it another few hundred feet, park it, and then they drink. So with a boating case, it's not a driving under the influence, meaning when they approach you, you don't have to be actually sitting in the driver's seat. It's operating under the influence of alcohol. So if you are operating it, and there could be one, two, three different operators of that boat, right? So if you and your friends are out in the middle of the water and one person is operating it, then you get in there and you start operating it, but you guys are just sitting on the vessel and you're drinking and they pull up all three of you could potentially get cited and arrested for boating under the influence. Now, boating under the influence is a misdemeanor. Now, here in San Diego, there are several ways that we can mitigate your boating under the influence case. Now, number one, if there are no injuries involved and you have a relatively low blood alcohol level, there's a high possibility that we're able to get your boating under the influence case reduced to a simple drunken public where you would have to do some AA classes and a boating safety course, and then eventually uh, we can get the case dismissed off your record. Now, if there's an injury involved, it's a wobbler, it becomes a felony, it's a completely different story. But as far as if you're boating under the influence here in San Diego, if you're in a boat, you're on a watercraft, you're on a jet ski, um, you're on a vessel, and you're just navigating that boat, um, even though there's multiple people navigating that boat, but you're just one of them, and they observe you actually navigating that boat, then yes, you could get a boating under the influence. And a lot of times my clients tell me, well, Dodd, I only you know drove that boat for about 100 feet. I wasn't the actual the one that was operating it, but if somebody observed you do that, then technically you could get a boating under the influence here in San Diego County. Now, if you like this video, you can go ahead and hit that like button. You can also subscribe to our channel. My name is Dodd. My firm is Dodd Law. If you have a boating under the influence case, go ahead and give us a call. We can get you started on some programs, some classes in order to mitigate the case, to get you the best outcome. And there's a possibility, if you have no criminal record, there's a possibility we can get your case reduced down to a drunken public or something lower than a boating under the influence and then eventually get the case dismissed off your record. Thank you very much. Have a great day.